If you're headed to the woods this weekend, you may be wondering, man, what strategy should I use? Do those rut hunting strategies still work or deer on that food cover pattern? Well, I wanna share just a few strategies that we're gonna be using here at the Proving Grounds to hunt this weekend. Throughout much of the whitetails range, we're past the peak of the rut. That peak is when the highest percentage of does are receptive. Bucks aren't having to move as far in between does, so it can be hard to see and catch a buck on his feet. However, as we shift to the right side of that bell-shaped curve, we're gonna start seeing activity very similar to the pre-rut. We're gonna start seeing scrapes opening again, bucks cruising, looking for those receptive does. Now, scrape activity isn't gonna be as intense as it was during the pre-rut, but a fresh scrape can be a great sign in a travel corridor on the edge of a food plot where a buck is traveling. Deer are also starting to shift back to those food cover patterns. So hunting travel corridors between food and quality cover is a great strategy. Let's break that down a bit more and talk about food sources. Bucks have lost a lot of weight during the rut. In fact, they could have lost 30% of their body weight. They're gonna need a lot of calories. Now by this time of the year, there aren't as many acorns on the ground. Acorns are high in carbs. Deer have been consuming them all fall, so deer are gonna be looking for those other resources. There still may be some acorns and that could be part of your hunting strategy. But here at the Proving Grounds, we've got standing grain, Milo. And that's a great attraction for deer needing to put calories on during the post rut. Deer are gonna be seeking carbs, but especially when temperatures are cooler than normal. If it's warm where you'll be hunting this weekend, you may think about shifting from those carbs, high energy, to greens. During warmer temperatures, deer prefer to feed on green forage. So just think, on a hot summer day, you don't want to be eating a heavy meal. Deer are the same way. So warmer days, greens, on those cooler days, focus on your carbs. Temperatures also come into play when we start talking about cover. On those really warm days, deer probably aren't gonna be on those south-facing slopes catching sun. They're gonna be on that north slope where it's a little cooler and shady. However, this weekend, there's some areas, it's gonna be in the 30s first thing in the morning. So those south-facing slopes, deer may be working through an area or headed to a south-facing slope to get a little sun and warm up first thing in the morning. But as it warms up during the day, they may shift to that north slope. So your afternoon hunt may be lower in elevation, close to a north slope, cutting deer off, going from cover to food in the afternoon. Understanding where we are on that bell-shaped curve and the food sources and the type of cover deer are seeking this time of year can help you plan a great hunting strategy for this weekend. I hope you get out there tag some venison, and more importantly, slow down, listen to what the Creator is saying to you and the purpose He has for your life. Thanks for watching Growing Deer.